So yeah, so basically, this is when things 100% full on pop off. I have questions. Relax, chill. Okay, you're 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 the freaking merchants. You're 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 the experts. I have some questions, but I think we are about to embark on the final, final, final battle. Let's ride. So, um, I think this is it, man. I think this is, is I think this is where um things ride, man. Um so your homeboy there, I think is Aaron versus Rhino. But before we even get there, I just have a few um things just to say. Just a few things just to sort of um um round off and look at before we really say what's up. So first off is that little blonde kid. I think it's his, his, his called Gabby. Because I think we already we saw him in previous episodes. I just need to know who is he and where is he placed in the whole thing. My thing, because from what I've seen, is he just a kid who is obviously an admirer of pretty much the villains of the story, which, are, which I think are the guys from Mali, the Malayans. Obviously, the Paradisians are the Aaron's, Mikasa, so forth and everything, man. So... Just who is that that, 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 that kid? Like, I mean, what is his connection to the larger story? What the heck is he doing there? So that's the first thing I wanted to, to talk, talk about. Whether you guys can tell me who that Gabby kick is. Um, this thing is, is bloody violent. Look, that is what she always gets in anime. I told you one of the key animes that my brother showed me that changed my life was Fist of the North Star. So when Japan do violence, it's crazy. But the way those humans got absolutely lara croft said from the skies i mean these guys were flying through and all you just saw was just bits of blood so the way those titans just completely crapped them up was was insane and again it just shows that see for me the best parts of attack on titan aren't really the the titan fights i mean these titan fights have probably been the the the, the, the best fights like this episode and the previous episode and maybe the previous one have probably been the three best episodes in terms of titan fights but i've always pre 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 preferred like the whole basically dot i mean dot matches the degree of difficulty i've always preferred that's why levi is my favorite character because i prefer like the guys using their steam powered me mechanics to fight stuff that is like 10 15 times higher because that whole degree of difficulty dot thing just adds more drama to, to, to the story so but the, the way they got bombasted and completely persecuted but the Titans, it was bad. Like, literally, these guys were coming through and getting hacked off. Um, Aaron. So, there was a bit where I think Aaron was... Yeah, there was a bit... Oh, no, sorry, that's a previous episode. Sorry, that's a previous episode. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's a previous episode. Don't mind me. Because there was a bit where, like, Aaron made a double of himself. I was like, wait, how the heck can you make a double of yourself? Like, oh, yeah, no, sorry. It's in this, sorry, it's in this episode. He was stuck in something. Then he then made a double of himself. Like, how does that work? Like, there's, like, is it, is it that he has, like, a special extra part that can make a, a double of himself? So that, for me, was um, a bit weird. Now, this is the, the key thing. Levi, it's only Levi is my favorite character. From what I gather, he took out the Beast Titans. Because obviously, the Beast Titans said, you know what? I'm not about that Aaron life. I want that Levi smoke. I want to say what's up to Levi. So Levi said, all right, bet. Let's live. So Beast Titan, back is turned. Homeboy comes in. I think he takes over his nape, puts him down. And because the Beast Titan is quite tough, I think he then, I think he's called Zeke or something. Levi takes out the, the, the grenade. And then everything explodes. So my thing is that. So here's my thing. Did Levi just pretty much kill himself in order to ensure that the Beast Titan is, is dead? Because that because they have sort of like their own beef. Um, Levi and the Beast Titan and their own history. So is Levi dead? Because if he's dead, I mean, my gosh, man. Like, so what? You, so, so your best character, and I think the most dynamic character there, that's how he goes out. So... Yeah, if he's dead, man, nah, nah, I'm not, I'm not happy about that, man. Like, like, nah, you, you, you've got to give him a much more heroic ending, man. And um, so, so, yeah, so obviously, I think the craziest bit was obviously how when um, your boy Eren was like, okay, so he obviously he he figured out that to to take down the 
world science and you have to play it's, it's almost like fighting like a final boss like okay you know figuring out one figuring out the final boss's weakness and once you figure out their weakness it's done but the pro but the problem sorry the issue and the difficulty is figuring out what the final boss's weakness is so when homeboy went down into the ground got the tail boom but he couldn't pretty much um go through the ice because i think that i ever remember i think it was i don't remember the season it was in like previous seasons ago where like annie they found out was pretty much double crossing everyone they tried to get up but she had encapsulated herself in that ice thing so obviously he can't cut through the ice but then he was like all right i'm gonna get the jaw titan with his galliard get that dude so he used his jaw he basically dismembered all of his limbs used his jaw because his jaw is obviously fully powerful to basically break the ice so that's how he pretty much destroyed the warhammer and the warhammer's controller so the next thing now was um so so basically this is where rhino comes through because he was he's about to kill um the jaw titan and, and the rhino dude comes through he says now this is my thing is like so again i told you guys because I've not read the manga. I've not read the manga, and it has been ages since I saw the last few seasons. So I'm still sort of reacclimatizing myself with like, okay, that's that, that's that, that's that dude. So I remember who Rhino was. I remember what Rhino, Rhino was about because obviously he was the guy that was leading the whole um, thing, um, pretty much like the kind of like enemy revolt against like the main guys, I Aaron, Mimikasa, and so forth. So I remember who Rhino is. But there is a guy that you saw on the boat. Where like he's basically you, you, you see him in the boat, blonde dude, and then he, something happens, and then everything just explodes, and everything just comes to the fire. Who the heck is that dude? That's what I want to know. It's like who is that? Is that dude? But overall, look, man, um, things are popping off now. I think these things are popping off, and I suppose this is it. Unless I'm missing something else, I think this is the final final battle. It's Eren versus Reiner. And whoever wins is what it is. So unless there's some kind of new guy that we don't know about that is coming through, um, this is the final stand. This is the, the, the final stand. And as I said again, I've not read the manga, so don't give me any spoilers because people are... I think, I think the manga's already finished and done, so I think people already know how this whole thing ends. So I am already thinking that there's maybe another weird twist to come through. But I think as of right now, I think I pretty much know where everything is at. So who the Eldians are, the guys from Paradise, the guys from Mali, the Eldians, and so forth. So I think I'm pretty set with who is who, who's on whose side, and I think I'm not remembering stuff that happened in the previous scenes. But but again, I'll, I'll reiterate, these have been the best episodes, and I think things are now high octane. Because I think for, there was so much jargon, a lot of exposition that was quite hard to blah, 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 But now it's like, okay. Put that exposition aside, it's now time for everything to come to an end, time to tie up loose ends, and now time to pretty much say what's up. And I think that's pretty much what's happening right now. So yeah, man. Um I look forward to see what's happening. I mean, I suppose this may be like a 10 episode thing, so they so they could stretch it to like three episodes. And the final episode is like, okay, blah, let's just run everything up, man. But um I have no idea how it's gonna end. I have no idea how, how it's going to end, but just judging by just how Japan do do things, or just how this thing has gone, there's obviously going to be a, oh, what the heck kind of, of, of moment there, and maybe like a larger reveal that we didn't really know about. But I'm, I'm not happy about, about Levi. I want to know what happens to Levi, because that dude better be alive. That dude better be alive, man, because if that was his last stand, Yes, it's brave and so forth, but if that was the last we saw of Levi and we didn't see him get a heroic sign out, that's messed up. Because look, I told you, I mean, Aaron is, yeah, Aaron is actually, see, this version of Aaron is much better though, like older, more mature, because the guy was extremely annoying <laughs> when he was young before. Mikasa has always been that one, right? Mikasa has always been that dude. Um, but Levi, no, Levi is the main guy. If it was me writing the story, Levi would actually be the main character. Like, on the off cut, Levi would actually be the main character because he's the most interesting character. So, um, you can't do your boy Levi, my, my, my boy Levi, like that, man. See, that's the... I watched this episode twice because I actually watched it on Sunday, but I said, no, before I actually do a review, let me actually just watch it properly, watch it again, take in everything, really absorb everything, and then do, like, a much more proper review where I've, I've now fully understood all of the different dynamics happening. So, 
But that's my main thing. Don't do your, my, my, your boy leave it at that, man. Guys, remember to like, subscribe. Peace out. Stay true. One.